that area. And you normally don't hear anything but birds. But uh, one day I was down on the lake and fishing was by myself and I heard trumpets from the sky. Straight up trumpets with my ears. Mm -hmm. A series of them. I started counting them, thinking it's important to count them. <coughs> I wasn't seeing God's face at this time, so I don't remember exactly when it was. Maybe it was 2002 or 2000. I don't remember. But, anyways, yeah. Like loud trumpet blast from the sky. I couldn't see where it was coming from, but I heard these trumpets. And I started counting, and I think there were probably about ten of them. I started counting, but then I thought, oh no, <laughs> like, I'm not ready to see Jesus Christ again at this time in my life. So I started repenting, and I started praying right there in the canoe, because I thought, she's all over, you know, like, God's going to find me at least trying to do his will, you know. And, uh, funny thing was, I went back to the house, which is quite far, like, you couldn't hear the same trumpet unless it was coming from the sky, uh, and I said to my dad, Dad, did you hear those trumpets? And he tries to tell people he doesn't believe in God, but, well, maybe he does now, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but, uh, he said, yeah, I heard those trumpets, and he had this, like, <laughs> explanation that I thought, like, like, that is the worst explanation I've ever heard in my life for something miraculous. <laughs> he said that it, those trumpets came from a winery that was on the other side of, of a pretty big hill and the other side of a mountain across a valley. <laughs> like, you couldn't hear, like, a foghorn from over there or anything. You couldn't hear, like, the loudest sound a human could make. Maybe not even dynamite from over there. So, I know that those were uh, trumpets from heaven, because there's no other possible rationale for that, but because my dad had that kind of like weird diversion thing like that, couldn't possibly be God's trumpets warning us of something. He had some like weird lame excuse. I'm sure most people on Earth probably had the same thing. They probably just passed it off as some weird thing, like, oh, Johnny's blowing his trumpet or something, but it was like... <laughs> like, filled the air with the sound of the trumpet. I try to find this stuff, man, but people hide the prophecies and stuff so, you know, it's tough to find but I've heard maybe it was a ten year period of grace for the world and that's like two thousand years later, right? so maybe, who knows, maybe the first thousand years was the millennium and I don't actually have a clue what happened we know very well that people change history and facts, so who knows, but yeah, exactly 2,000 years later. And the funny thing is we're coming up on this big cycle that is like putting Earth into the center of the Milky Way or something so that the, the sun rises in the exact center. Our sun, there are many stars in the Milky Way, but our sun rises in the exact center of the Milky Way. It's an event that only happens like once every 8,000 years. Supposedly about halfway through that, there was the big flood about 4,000 years. Jesus comes right in the middle of that, I guess. 2,000 years after the flood. And then 2,000 years after that, plus another 10 years for grace. Who knows, man? Like, I don't... I'm not claiming to know. 
But I'm claiming to be scared of this because if Jesus comes and finds me or any one of us doing what we're not supposed to be doing, we will go to hell for eternity. And that is... I have no words to describe how brutal that would be. Like going to hell for five minutes. Um, I couldn't handle that, man. <clears throat> I'd rather be kicked in the balls every uh, five minutes for the rest of my life. Easily. And like if I had to choose, like, you go to hell or you get kicked in the balls like every five minutes. I'd be like, kicked in the balls, please. Because it's just so bad, like, just dumbfoundingly bad. Like, God's imagination, like, to make the worst place possible, man. It is just brutal. Like, you're sitting in a lake of fire. You don't feel anything except for burning. And you're hugging your knees. Like, I don't even want to do that for five seconds, man. <laughs> hugging your knees. And all you can do is move your eyes around to know that you're in hell. You can't move a muscle. You can't get up and walk around. There's nobody else there. You can't see another soul. All you see is this raging inferno of black fire. And it starts to turn blue on the horizon. Cause you know you're in a world because you see this horizon. And above you, you see it's blue and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe it's cooler up there. But you're in the bottom of the black fire, this lake of fire, and it's just sick. Like, it's like the worst thing that, and I, there's no way. You cannot make a worse place to be. It's not like, let's go sit by the fire, and oh, it's a nice warm place to hang out, like some people say. It's just sickeningly brutal. And I don't want that for anyone. Which is why I'm making this video, which is why I paint all my shirts with God's face on it, and I do my very best, man, to tell everyone the truth, because it's great. Reality is great. Well, people are probably going to pick on me, like, he looks like a drug addict and stuff like that. And I've heard it all, man. And I don't care. Go ahead, pick on me, yeah. I've made a lot of mistakes. But, obey Jesus Christ, and you're going to see his face everywhere. Find out for yourself. If you got what it takes to do it. Don't just be like, you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know. Well, how would you know, man? Like, you never obeyed Jesus Christ. So how would you know? You can't just, like, I can't just go and start talking about, like, I don't know, like, nuclear science. I don't know nothing about it. I can't go and talk to a nuclear scientist and be like, Dude, you're a joke to nuclear science. You can't go say that Y equals MC squared or something like that equals MC squared. You're a joke. Because I don't know anything about that, man. Just like you. Maybe you. I don't know. Probably don't know anything about obeying Jesus Christ. And... I'm not saying that you're a retard or anything, because the whole world right now is telling you the opposite. 
of what I and Jesus Christ are saying, by the way. The same exact thing. Same exact thing. That if you obey him, he'll show himself to you. And you'll see his face everywhere and everything. And you'll feel sweet. The whole world that has the Christian appearance, like Jesus said, was going to happen before his coming again. Not exactly everyone, but quite a bit, quite a few people. A uh, billion, maybe. Yeah, maybe like a billion people, I don't know, have the appearance of being Christian, but they don't even obey Jesus Christ, so they don't know the magic of what happens when you obey Him. So they <laughs> do the horrible thing absolutely horrible thing and they say yeah they obey them and stuff they obey him and yeah we they, we don't see him there's no magic and how wrong are they they're twisting i hope it's not you the real words of jesus christ and why he came here <sighs> And who knows what their judgment will be. I can't judge them. I don't know what's going on in their hearts. I don't know if they're like, you know, purposely doing it or being so hurt that they just don't know what's going on. Or I can't judge them because I do not know what's happening. But I do know that that action is extremely horrible. And judging an action is fine. It's like saying killing is wrong. Uh, sexually abusing children is wrong. Um, stealing is wrong. Committing adultery is wrong. Fornicating, having sex before marriage is wrong. Having sex with someone when you're married is wrong. Um, not loving God is wrong. Not worshipping God is wrong. Worshipping idols is wrong. Wanting other people's stuff is wrong. Wanting other people's wives is wrong. Taking God's name in vain is wrong. Not forgiving people is wrong. Saying that you're Christian, saying that you obey Jesus Christ, and you don't, in my books, is the worst thing that you can possibly do. But, luckily, God is good and merciful and will forgive you if you repent and when you repent and obey the words of His Son, Jesus Christ. It's a scientific thing, you know, like, you obey Jesus Christ's words, He sends His Holy Spirit to live in you purifying your heart so that you can see his face everywhere it's a very simple concept to understand don't believe people that say you can't obey him it's impossible don't it is impossible without his help that's why he gave us his prayer the Our Father that's what helped me to obey him There's not much time left. But one thing I was impressed with in Mass the other day was that they said he will unite a great number of people. People will not fight each other anymore. There will be no more war. One thing I was not impressed with was, they said, like, well, they misunderstood the meaning of God's face, you know, like it's God's face, eyes, nose, mouth, and beard, but they said in Mass, like, let our actions show people 
the real face of God because they don't get it because they don't obey him 